Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do my caldo de coliflor or my cauliflower soup that I learned here. Um, it's really, really simple. I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys the recipe before, but today I'm going to show you it again because that's what I'm making tonight for dinner. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let me show you what you're going to need to make this dish. Let's start with the ingredients. So you're going to need four to five jitomates or just red tomatoes. These ones look like just regular tomatoes. I don't, I think my veggie lady said she got them from a different supplier. You're gonna need a white onion, some garlic, of course, cauliflower. cauliflower. Um, you're gonna need two to three eggs, some um, nor suiza or um, chicken bouillon, and then some hoja de laurel or bay leaf. Um, and then you're gonna start with a pot of water. You'll need more water after this. And I highly, highly recommend, oh, and I'm sorry, flour. I didn't set the flour out here, but flour as well. And then I highly, highly recommend using a like hand mixer um, for the eggs. But if you can't, a fork or a whisk will work as well. My comadres have done it with whisks or forks, but it's just easier with a hand mixer. So let me show you how this is made. Okay, when cutting the cauliflower, I leave stems on. It makes it easier because you're going to batter and fry these in the egg and flour. So it makes it easier if you leave them clumped together as big as possible, like this. And if you leave some stem on, like this one didn't have a lot of stem, which is what it is. Um, but we're gonna start by boiling our cauliflower with salt um, and get it nice and soft. Okay, now that this is boiling, Sorry, Manchas and Charlie are outside barking at something. Now that this is boiling with a nice amount of salt, please season as you go. Um, now that this is boiling, we're gonna put together the caldo portion because as soon as these are done, we're gonna fry them and then we'll already have our caldo done. Okay, now we're going to cut up our tomatoes, our onion, our garlic, our, and then we're gonna put in some Nor Suiza water, and we're gonna blend it all up in the blender. That's going to make our tomato soup base. So this made me think of something. Um, I don't know if you guys is, if anybody's like parent did this, but my mom used to make tomato sandwiches <laughs> um, because that's, she would eat tomato sandwiches growing up, like the tomatoes that my grandmother grew. And these are like perfect for tomato sandwiches, but that's what made me think of it. But it would just, it literally is just two pieces of bread, mayo or Miracle Whip, depending on where you live and what your preference is. And then tomato, salt, and pepper. That's all it was. And my mom would eat them while I was growing up. She said that she ate them while she was growing up. And now when I miss her, I also eat them because I actually really like them. But let me know in the comments if anybody else's like parent or, um, like grandmother, grandfather also ate tomato sandwiches. Or is that, like, is that a, I don't know. My mom was born in Texas, but grew up in, um, for the most part, grew up in Utah. So I don't know. I don't know beyond that where it came from. I don't know if it came from like my grandfather's side or my grandmother's side, but so I don't know if it came from Texas or Utah, but let me know in the comments if, you're, if your parents ever did this. <laughs> okay, I'm also adding three cloves of garlic to the blender as well. You can use however much you like, but I like garlic, so I use a little bit more. Bye. Bye, okay. So I'm also adding two um, teaspoons of caldo de pollo. No, Suiza, chicken bouillon, whatever you want to call it. I'm also adding that to my blender. And we're gonna put in some water. And I'm putting in about this much water um, because this is going to be like our soup of base. So I'm gonna mix it up with this much water and then uh, add more soup if needed or add more water if needed, oh man. <laughs> Cauliflower is still boiling. We're going to add our tomato soup mixture to a pot to start boiling it. And we're also going to put in our hojas de laurel or bay leaf. Probably one 
I would, no, two to three. Two to three of them, depending on how strong you want it to be. Interesting little tidbit. Um, this is my pozole spice mix. So it has my comino, it has my oregano, and my hoja de laurel. Um, I have all of it in one bag, because <laughs> it's just easier that way. So we're gonna put in two bay leaves to our soup mixture and let that boil. Okay, tell YouTube what you're doing. We're going to the museum. You're going to the museum to look at what? Dinosaurs. Okay. Fighting. <laughs> Dinosaurs fighting? Your cat? Mm -hmm. She always with you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Where's the museum? Right there. Oh, it's right there? Okay, go show me. <laughs> he pretends when he goes to the door. That our dogs fight. are dinosaurs. They don't fight. They're not fighting, they're playing. That the yeah. dogs are dinosaurs and he's at the museum and he's taking his cat along. Also, he carries her around everywhere. He is very careful with her. She does hold on we to him. But they're always together. They even sleep together, you guys. It's crazy. We're going on, we're going on an airplane. You're going on an airplane? Yeah. Fun. Okay, we'll have a safe flight. Yeah. Thank you. He's turning on the lights for me. Okay, we're going to separate our egg yolk from the egg white. So you're going to crack your egg, do this however you want. Um, I just crack it in half and then I just don't let the egg yolk fall in. So I just do it like this, if that makes sense. And then just try not to break the egg yolk, which I kind of did, but it's okay. Okay, perfect example of why I am not a like cooking influencer because I definitely got some, hard to see, I definitely got some, some yolk in there, but it's gonna be fine because we're gonna whip this up. So you're gonna whip this up, put salt in it. <laughs> Please, salt as you go. Season as you go, put some salt in it and then you're going to whip, whip, uh, whip it up. Sorry, Manchas is barking at the next door neighbor's cat um, and she refuses to come inside. So um, you're going to get like soft peaks and then you're going to, as you're whipping, slowly add in your egg yolks to this mixture and then keep mixing until you've got soft peaks again. Our cauliflower is done. I have it just draining a little bit. So each piece you are going to, and I'm also heating up um, oil on the stove. So each piece of cauliflower you're going to coat in flour. You can do this with your bare hands too. I just, because I'm filming, I don't want to get my, my cans all gunky. And then you're going to put it in your egg mixture, make sure it's coated. And then you're going to put it in your oil. Let me show you what that looks like. Too far away. Just like that. And this is what you want your cauliflower to look like once you've fried it. So now I'm gonna get the rest of these fried and then we'll pick this back up as soon as they're all fried. <laughs> okay, I'm frying the last little bit of caulif uh, cauliflower, cauliflower, whatever, cauliflower. <laughs> um, but look at how much better it fried when I wasn't trying to record it. No big deal. Um, Dominic insists on not waiting. So we're going to make him a plate and I'm gonna show you guys how I plate this up. But first let me wipe this. Here is how I plate this up. So I'm going to take two of the smaller pieces of cauliflower, just because I want him to eat those first before he gets more. Okay, then you're going to take some of your um, tomato soup mixture back here, and you're gonna pour that over the cauliflower. And this is how you serve it. Well, this is how I serve it and how I learned to serve it. But it's basically the cauliflower. Now you can also do salsa and use these in tacos, but tonight this is what Fidel and the boys requested, so that's why I'm making it this way. And then you just serve it with tortillas. I'm also heating up tortillas, so Dominic is rolling up his, he's making a taco. Here's Diego's plate. And Fidel is working late tonight. So the boys are eating without him, but I'm going to wait and eat with Fidel. So while they eat, um, I think I'm going to wash dishes, but I'm still debating. <laughs> this is an internal struggle for me. I hate doing dishes. <laughs> oh. uh, 
I guess I'm gonna get them done while I'm waiting for Fidel to get home. But I also have like a 300 slide PowerPoint that I'm working on for work. So I'm like, do I work on the PowerPoint or do I do the dishes? Do I just wait and do them tomorrow? This is my, this is my debate, you guys. I don't know. I really need to get the PowerPoint done. But I could do these while I'm waiting for, see? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm just gonna do them. I'm just gonna get them done. And out of my way. Let's do this. All right, we're doing dishes. But I can already feel that I'm gonna be up late doing this PowerPoint. So. That's okay. Yes. Okay, as soon as I'm done with this, you're taking a shower. Oh, he's from Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, Diego's had that for a long time. Well, you can't watch that movie. It's too scary. Got the baby out of the rosca? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, do you know what that means? Oh, atole. 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 So you had atole. Yeah. And do you know what it means when you get the baby? Yeah. In the rosca? What does it mean? I have baby there. I know, but what does it mean when you get the baby? Don't do that. You're going to fall backwards. No, I'm going to fall backwards. It means that you're going to have good luck all year. It also means that you take tamales to your class. Tamales to school? Mm -hmm. You take tamales on February 2nd. Take four of them babies. Oh. I got four babies. You only got two. He got two niños in his roscas today because the kindergarten class did a rosca. And so on February 2nd, the Candelaria, they'll do they the um, food we eat and that. Food. I got food. Yeah, when they also did a tole. And then when they do the Candelaria, we'll take something for his class. Hey guys, so that is how um, I make my caldo de coliflor. And you guys got to listen to one of our conversations that we have while I do dishes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I am going to go and work some more on this giant PowerPoint that I'm putting together. And then I'll feed Fidel when he gets home, but I'm gonna wrap up this video so I can do that and also get Dominic showered. So are you ready? I go play. But you're gonna have to take a shower first. Yeah. <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. If you try this recipe, let me know. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye. 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 <laughs>